Hi guys, my name is Maureen and I'm a second year biotechnologist so belonging to the Department of Life Sciences and I'm just here today to give you an honest account of what it feels like to be studying as a current EU student in London and I'm also here to get out some of your worries and stress that may be linked to coming to study to a different country and giving you 10 key tips to success. Tip number one, facing academic challenges. So I was sitting in my first set of lectures on molecular orbitals and organic chemistry and I have to say I was clueless. I simply had no clue what was going on because we didn't study the same thing in the French system at all. And so what I did at the end of my lecture was I went to go speak to my lecturer. He actually gave me a list of textbooks that I could follow in order to catch up basically what I had behind. And you're probably here wondering, oh no, do I have to catch up everything? But let me reassure you right now again that's not the case because there are going to be chapters that you have seen that others didn't and vice versa. Which means that in the end it all bounces out. Just don't be scared to reach out and ask questions and I'm sure that you'll be fine. Tip number two, maintaining a healthy social life. Yes, one of the great things about Imperial is that you can choose from a wide variety of different clubs and societies in order to continue your interest and discover new hobbies in things like belly dancing, lacrosse, wine and cheese, you name them. And if you're feeling a bit patriotic and feeling like homesickness might start to kick in, you're more than welcome to join European societies such as the French society, the Polish society, and the list goes on. Tip number three, talk to people. I think we've all been there. We're really scared that because of our cultural background, we weren't gonna fit in and there's gonna be a cultural clash, right? But no, you have to understand that Imperial is an international and European university. So start talking, I swear that you're gonna fit in just fine. Tip number four, get to know British expressions. Yes, little did I know that I actually had to extend my vocab to more than just old gray and scones to actually follow normal conversation. But my friends, big shout out to them right now, mentioned, are you taking the for the first time. I have to say I was quite shocked. I was wondering and I was gonna reply back that we weren't in a public bathroom but um okay or when I heard blimey for the first time or having shockings or things like that. Tip number five. Don't let the perspectives of living in a big capital city ever scare you away. Living your hometown to come study in a beautiful capital city can be really intimidating especially if you're not used to it. But you know what? Don't worry about it, because there's just so much to do in London that there's no way for you to ever get bored. There are things like conferences, events, museum, parks. Tip number six, getting to know your surroundings. We're very lucky that our main campus is located in South Kensington, which means that we're exposed to beautiful sceneries, historical monuments, and also delicious food. So make sure to check out things like Hyde Park, the Natural History Museum, Victoria and Alberts, and even Thai Square for some memorable experiences. Tip number seven, reconnect with Europe. Things like year abroad, year in industries, or even specific degrees with languages, things like biochemistry with French, for example. This allows you to reconnect with European countries and a range of different European universities if you feel like the European side of you just is feeling a bit lost. Tip number eight, Finance. We all know how financially demanding capital city like London may be, especially for students. However, I'm here to reassure you on two main aspects. The first one being that upon your arrival at Imperial, a student ID card will be delivered to you. Why is this of any use? Well, it gives you access to discounts in restaurants, clothing, books, and so on. But also it gives you a discount in all our restaurants, our university restaurants which gives you access to cheaper food. Also, point number two, that you can actually take on a part-time job at Imperial. What's good about the part-time job opportunities at Imperial is that you're allowed to balance these out alongside your studies. The rules of the games are simple. You choose when you are free to work and no one else, which is great if you're trying to manage out your studies with another part-time job. Tip number nine, join student halls. Why is this important? Because you're going to be found in the same place with students just like yourself who come from different European backgrounds, who have left their hometown to come study in England. And for that matter, you're going to be with international students as well. This means that you're all going to be in the same boat and you're all going to help each other out. Tip number 10. 
beware. This is probably the best tip that I could ever give you. But, and it might even sound cliche, but just be yourself, honestly. Don't change what you believe in, what you fight for, your interests, just because you change university or come to study in a different country. Try out some new things. Try out things that you would have never done before. But never stop being you. I really hope this helped, and you guys take care.